hey there beautiful people welcome welcome back to my channel today's tutorial is going to be how i install a lace frontal wig and please see the description below for all the details all the products used and if you have any comments please leave them in the comment section below and don't forget to like comment share and also press that subscribe button if you want to see how i install the wig just keep on watching gonna start off with some eco gel on her hairline and then just brush it in place and just tie it with a scarf to get it nice and smooth so that there's no hair in the way when I'm ready to put the wig on Okay, so this is the wig that I made using the Beauty Reborn Virgin Brazilian Deep Wave hair with two bundles of 12 inches and a 12 inch frontal. The frontal is 13 by 4. So I'm pretty much going to show you what it looks like and afterwards just remove the scarf and then fit the wig on the head to see if I need to remove any excess lace from the side. I'm removing half a hinge from both sides just to make it fit much better. Alright, so what I didn't show you guys was when I removed the excess lace from the front, added the elastic band for support and also when I added the waterproof foundation to the lace. When I add the waterproof foundation to the lace, it's like an alternative to tinting the lace. So that is what I do instead of tinting it. And um, yeah, so when, I, when she wash it, like it won't come off because it's waterproof. So I'm using the yellow got to be glued around our hairline and then I'm going to use the blow dryer on the cool setting to just get it tacky. Once it's tacky then I'll lay it down. Okay, so I'm just going to take the tail part of the brush. You can use your tail comb. And I'm just going to push the lace into the skin. I'm just gonna push it in. I'm not sure. <laughs> push it in, oh, that's funny. Anyways, so I'm just gonna press it into the skin. And this is pretty much the melting part of it. This is how you melt your lace. So you pretty much make your lace and your skin become one or look like one. There are many other ways of doing it, many other alternatives to it got to be glue that you can look into. You can get the lace wig uh, glue, the lace glue. You can also get tapes instead of like the, this because this is like a temporary fix. Um, it's waterproof but like if you sweat or anything and it don't have any support like the band or anything that it, it's a possibility that it will slide off or just slide back and you don't want that you know but with this there is clip in it there there is one clip at the back and there is a band stretching from above the ear to the next ear so it's there is support and this wig is not going anywhere
Okay, so you have to always make sure that the blow dryer is on cool setting and not hot. Okay, cool setting and not hot. Then I'm just gonna tie that down for like five minutes and then come back. So to get the hair on the lace really nice and smooth and flat, I'm going to use my hot comb and just comb that through. So to remove any excess glue, I'm going to take a cotton swab with some alcohol in it and just rub it around the area. I'm going to brush out the baby hair that was already created and a little more as you can see and then I'm going to just use the olive oil wrap and set mousse to lay the baby hair. Okay, so I'm going to spray some water in the hair and then I'm going to give it like a nice bob cut as the client requested. So yeah, I'm just going to brush some curls in and then cut it to shoulder length. So if you're ever at the point where you remove the scarf after laying your baby hairs and you see some like glues and stuff, you just use a Q-tip with some alcohol and just remove all of that. Thanks y'all for watching until the end. This is the finished product and I hope you guys will be laying your lace soon and melting your lace and all of that. But guys, until the next video, please take care, stay sweet and thanks for watching. Bye bye.